Across the country, fire seasons are getting longer. Since the 1970s, fire weather seasons have been starting earlier and becoming more intense. Abnormal fire potential is currently predicted for large parts of southern Australia. About half of all fires are caused by lightning. The rest, deliberately or accidentally lit. To take off, fire needs oxygen, heat and fuel. Strong, gusty winds not only fanning flames but providing more oxygen. A doubling in wind speed causes fire to spread four times as fast. Fire travels more quickly up a slope than down. The more steep the slope, the faster and more intense the fire making the riskiest place to build a house on top of a hill. But it's ember attacks that cause nearly all structural damage. Ember attack is the most common way houses catch fire during a bushfire. Ember attack occurs when small burning twigs, leaves and bark are carried by the wind, landing in and around houses and their gardens. In Yarloop, in 2016, 160 homes and two lives were lost. The town hit by an ember storm. The fire generated a smoke plume 14 kilometres high, punching into the stratosphere, and created its own thunderstorm, generating lightning and sparking more fires. Eucalyptus trees, which dominate the landscape, can be extremely flammable. Stringy bark can act like a ladder, carrying fire into the canopy and producing masses of embers. Their fragrant oil, much like any oil, adds to their flammability. Vines are also great ladders for spreading fire. Just as we did decades ago, firefighting is still done by people. Many of them are volunteers. And as bushfire seasons extend, particularly in fire-prone areas, those resources will be further stretched.